I'm Kelsey, and I'm spiritually 21. Quincy, 27. Nice. Hey, I'm Felicia. I'm Kevin Jenkins. I'm Priscilla, and I'm 30. And I'm Gary, and I'm 29. I'm Anise, age 36. I'm Lanier, age 36. <laughs> the first question I have for you is how did you guys meet? We met um, in Japan. Um, Navy was our first duty station. We were both in the Navy. So that's where we met. We worked in the same department. Department. So uh, she was a more rebellious type of person. So our uh, chain of command basically sent me to, to mentor to, me. Yeah. And oh. you see how the mentor is. <laughs> I saw her at the store and saw her eating by herself and told her what my chain of command said and that From was there, it. there, that was we're, it. We're yeah. pretty much together after that. We started being friends, talking. And then um, she fell asleep on my butt on the she fell asleep on my shoulder on our way back to the ship because we were on the ship at the time. And that's pretty much how we met, how we got together. That was like I mean, our first. A couple weeks day. later, I asked her out, and that's pretty much it. I met him in high, at Lakewood High School. I was in the 11th grade. He was in the 10th, Lakewood. Facebook. They definitely Facebook. She, she was all in my DMs. Where it really started from the comments. And yeah. Because he was thirsty for me, y'all. Just be honest here. I was. Was, thirsty. It, was it like a picture that he seen of me? Or? No, I think he, yeah, he posted a status about calling females bitches, and I was like, no. Not as attractive as you are talking to people like that. Gotcha. So. But then I summed it up, and then I, we had. Oh. Well, there was a few occasions. So I, I always tell people, like, college. Like, we met in college, but we kind of got with a couple of mutual friends and started partying and stuff together down at Eboard, so that's kind of how we got closer. Okay. But yeah, we both went to SBC and USF together, so. i let you know. <laughs> Do you have a different story? No, it's just, it's, it was over a period of time, so yeah. it's so many instances, this, that's the short version. What's the biggest differences between the two of you? Well, she's more of a, Free spirit, like just easy going. I'm just like to myself in my little moment. <laughs> it's aggravating. Just he's said, like he he like quite like standoffish, but I'm more like friendly and wanna do this and it's just uh. <laughs> the biggest difference I think is the same thing that makes us the same, like our likes. He's into like the nerdier side of it. So yeah. he likes like anime, yeah. hardcore comics, stuff like that. And I like certain things like that, like comic like comic movies, you know. I like the regular stuff of it. He dives into it. Um, if we talk about history or something, he's into like a lot of mythology, Greek yeah. mythology, things like that. I think a big a big part of our differences is is uh, like our cultural differences. Mm -hmm. Because I'm like hardcore, you know black Baptist and she's more uh, I'm biracial. I'm biracial. basically Mexican and black. So I was raised by my Mexican side. So difference. Really big difference. Yeah. Food wise, I didn't know a lot about like deep soul food, I guess. Yeah, yeah. And I just knew of course like mac and cheese, certain things, but what my like? taste palette is gonna be different than his. I grew up on tacos and, you know, Mexican soups and different things like that. I can eat grits every day. And that's a big, you know, that's a big I don't like it at all. So, so yeah. you can think about the household if we're cooking. And, if, you know, I don't I don't really care for turkey. She likes turkey. I like ham. You know, it's one of those just situations where she's. I think we adapted right. over a little bit of his likes. I've, I've never was like a, into like crab legs and stuff like that. And now I can eat them. That's yeah. like, the, I'm like, okay. And then like the same thing for her, like breakfast tacos, like kind of quesada. You know, it's a we eat it for breakfast, and I would think you would order that for like dinner, but nine o'clock in the morning, that's what I want. For. <laughs> it tastes good. I am high anxiety, and he is like water off a duck's back. Uh, I say we're different all across the board, personality, but but you know, opposites attract. Though I always think.
I mean, if she was a lot like me, I don't think I, I don't, wouldn't like a female version of myself. <laughs> it's tough to be a male version of yourself. It's yeah. tough to deal with a male version of him, y'all. Right, so. <laughs> okay. What's your sign? I'm a Virgo. What's your sign? I'm a Taurus. Taurus. Okay. How often do you laugh together? Uh, I would say daily. Yeah. yeah. I'm kind of the goofy one, so. I'm... What? <laughs> daily. <laughs> I say daily. We laugh a lot. Yeah. We have a five year old, too, so just yeah. watching him grow up like oh. is hilarious. We just look at each other and be like, we made that. <laughs> yeah. I lie. I'm goofy. <laughs> Day all, the time. all day. Yeah, I'm. I'm making jokes all the time. That's about. This is about my personality, bro. I like to make people laugh. When was the last time you dreamt about your partner? Talk about that. The last time you dreamt about me. Uh, I think it was like a month ago. A month ago, and uh, it actually wasn't a good dream. It's actually a pretty bad dream. Uh, I think she like was like messing with somebody that I knew back at home and like I'm pretty sure we all and she doesn't know him at all so like my mindset I think I was looking at their Facebook page one day and the next thing I know she's like with this gentleman and I'm like what the heck I woke up mad at her <laughs> I was like I don't get another person oh my like, yeah, god you do <laughs> <laughs> I would have to say probably three months ago and it was about having our last baby again we have three kids, so it was Trusai is our last baby, yeah. and he was just carrying our baby. It, was, it, it wasn't nothing, it was just like a slight in and out. For me, it's been a minute. I don't really, I don't really dream much. If I do, I don't really remember my dream, so. Yeah, been... and I have, like, my <laughs> dreams are usually, like, movies, like, so I, don't really dream. Like, it's always something bad. So I'll be feeling like, oh, something gonna happen to somebody. So I don't usually dream too much about him. Plus, you lay her next to me, so I can just see it. <laughs> like, two or three days ago. I never heard what you dreamed about. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's too much for. Well, I really don't dream that often. So. I can't really say the last time. Like, I really don't have, never have dreams. This I don't remember, yeah. but I can't remember the last time I had a thing. When was the last time you said I love you to your partner? Um, today. On break. Again, today. Yeah, this when this I was on break. Mm -hmm. Um, on the way over here, actually. Even when we're mad. Yeah, even like if I'm, I can't stand you, all right, I love you, but you get on my nerves. Time because like there's a di like when you're thinking about love, you think how love is supposed to be, and you like watching a movie or something. You're like, oh, I want love to be this way. And then realistically, love is more like patience. Love is more like understanding that person, like indefinitely. Like, you know what I mean? Very, very deep. Yes, it is important for me and for him like to say it to me before we get off the phone. When we were younger, my dad used to say, you never know what's gonna happen to somebody when you get off the phone with them. So I've just always, to anybody that I care about, I have always said I love you before I get off the phone, just in case. Kind of like what she said, I wasn't really big on that until she like brought it to my attention. And I really thought about it. You never know when you gonna die, uh, leave this world. So you might want to tell you. And then just met somebody die, and then you never told your significant other you love them. You know, right. you know that's gonna be on your mind all the time. So. I call right back. Okay. What the fuck is this? Yeah. <laughs> well, I, it, it's, it's in my mind sometimes, though. I ain't gonna lie. I'm like, damn. I kind of no. dwell on it. Like, let me text you real quick. Me. Yeah, so. Off top. Call them back. Playing games with me. Do you get each other's feelings without the need to say anything? No. No. And we're actually working through this because sometimes I feel like he didn't, he upset or mad or whatnot and he'd be like no i'm literally just existing so yeah no, we're still working on that <laughs> some sometimes but mostly no we don't mm, yeah i would say yeah, my feelings without me saying something yeah by looks and other things like that just emotions or a way you feel he yeah, always so, like I said, he always so, like, I never know what's around him. So I 
Like, it's just him. So I'm always asking, what's wrong? Why you looking like that? So. <laughs> I can read her. She can't read me. I don't say that. Yeah. Yes. I think I can read him. Even sometimes when he's like, no, I'm good. Or I can read when he's stressed or something's bothering him. Or so he has something on his mind. I can. I think I've got to that point where I can kind of see it. And then, like, he'll wait. And then be like, nah, I... I'm gonna tell you what was wrong with me yeah. or whatever. So yeah. We have full like I can have a full conversation with her without her being that. Like I'll be at work. What do you want to eat? Now you don't want to eat that. What you want to eat then? Oh okay, okay. Well I don't think you're really feeling that. Well, what's wrong with you? Why are you mad like that? Oh I see. Why? Okay. By the time I get home, I don't really want to talk because I already know. You know. I had the whole conversation without me. <laughs> do you throw temper easily for small mistakes of your partner? Yeah, boy. <laughs> <laughs> You're running tight shit around that motherfucker. <laughs> what, what, what question was? Do you throw temper easily for small mistakes of your partners? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I'm like kind of easily temper anywhere, so not really though. I mean, she do some, she do some duck shit sometimes. <laughs> no, but no. She, I mean, I don't get. I don't think I get mad. She get mad at me more than I get mad at her. Like I said, we're on a tight shit. Yeah. Like, motherfucker, we got I'm no gonna, time for the bullshit. I'm on a tight leash, Kyle. <laughs> I'm getting better. God's working with me. Yeah. Um, small things, like just leaving cups in the, around the house or missing something that I've asked him consistently about throughout the week. Not, not doing it. I try my best to work on my tone because even if I feel like I'm not yelling, he thinks I'm yelling. So... My delivery always is a struggle. For me, I would say it's a yes and no. No, not for small things, but small things over a period of time, like constantly building up, then yeah, it'll, it'll, it'll take it down, but. I do. <laughs> do you? Here and there. Mostly me, like, if he driving too fast, <laughs> if I call and he don't pick up, like, she if right. he take too long to call back, um, a, a bunch. If he tell me we eating at one place and we go to another one. Yeah, Anything. <laughs> what he said gotta be, like, um. <laughs> Do you respect each other's beliefs? Yes. Yes. And they're totally different. So yeah, she's the grew up in the church, you know, going to church, this and you know, all of that. I'm more of no, never really. I can count on two hands my you know amount of times in church. I'm more of, as she's more religious, and I'm more spiritual. I guess if you had to put a you know, a name on it, I guess. But if that's what like. My son, they, her and her mom, they say the Lord's prayer every night before bed, and I'm just like, whatever. It, yeah. It doesn't. If he does it, that doesn't mean anything to me. But I respect that's, you know, what she believes in, how she grew up. Okay. Um, not everything. I think the, I think the most part we do, but I think we have maybe like slight differences. When I met him, he was more traditional. He didn't want nothing, like, this is how I was raised, this is how it should be. But I think over the years, as far as me, I was like, no, this is what I, I think we should make our own rules for our family, what fits our household, you know? And I think we're kind of both, you know, I like certain tradition, tra uh, traditional things he does, and he's like, oh, no, I see why you want something different, you know? Yeah, because, like, if you're talking about church, like, I wouldn't, like, the choir, like, the church had to have a choir, and they had to be fired. Like if they weren't fired, we're not staying. Regardless, regardless. And that's a that's a difference that we had because I was like, we're not going for the choir, we're going for the word. Like it's what the pastor's saying. I was like, yeah, and he was like, no, but I can't get into that until yeah. I get my worship like, together. It's a setup. <laughs> they, got, they got to be a setup. Like, you yeah. got to get there. But I understood her point of view, so now we try to be common ground. Like if we find a fire church, the pastor has, it has to be, you know, so I I got to be able to get the word from him. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And then vice versa. So. Is it really necessary to know everything from your partner's previous relationships? I'm nosy. I ask him everything, but is that his girlfriend? 
me, I feel like he don't be wanting none of it. I still tell him anyway. I still tell him anyway. But I ask everything. Did y'all do this? Did y'all go here? Like I ask everything. <laughs> I want to know. Oh no, <laughs> he don't want to know. <laughs> No, because I was going to fuck regardless. It didn't matter how many bitches he had fucked. Is that an answer? Yeah, it didn't matter. Again, all I know about the past, so. I was a virgin when I met this man. Again, all I know about the past, so. I don't know. To me, she ain't got he zero body. year old, I was right. a virgin, though. Good Lord bless me with that baby. I don't like to think about that stuff, so. What did you learn about marriage growing up that you feel isn't true today in your relationship? Mmm. I don't think it's always lovey-dovey. Like, I don't think it's always a beautiful picture. I think sometimes you have to go through the, you know, ups and downs to keep, or you gotta go, you know, through the downs to keep the ups, you know? And I think um, it was always painting like, oh, you know, it's gonna be perfect, and oh my God, it's gonna be, you know, a fairy tale. But that's not the case. I mean, nobody's perfect. And, yeah, to piggyback on that, like I think that when you're thinking about marriage, it has to be, you know, like, a, like more of a partnership, like rather than just an individual trying to make their way through the world and bringing their family luggage with them. Like this is really like, like what you got? I got it. You can be help. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, it's more of a, you have to be more friend, friendly with each other, like a lot of it. It's yeah, based growing up, it just seemed like, oh, we're just husband and wife, and not like, this is my role. Yeah, like, you, you're basically, friend. you're good friends, mm -hmm. and then everything else like comes like Benefits. Yeah. <laughs> For me, like he said, it was, I was in heavy into the church back in the day, so it was all about like being submissive and patient and understanding with your husband. Sometimes that's not going to happen, especially with the submissive. We didn't get in a relationship expecting that. So, I mean, I'm going to express my feelings, and he expresses his feelings. It's not like his way always goes. So, My view of marriage growing up is what it is now. Like, my mom and dad, they didn't really have... I don't know, I just... I looked at them for how marriage is supposed to be, and it was always a, like a team thing. It was never, you do this, the man does this, the woman does this, or, you know, all the different stuff. It was more of a, just work together and everything, and figure it out and keep it moving. Yeah, my mom was more of the take care of the kids, take care of the house type of thing. And then when I grew up, I was like, I ain't doing that, so. <laughs> It so, just worked. I, I don't. I don't expect that either. Yeah. So it kind of. Yeah, it works. Mm. It's not true. I don't know. Everything I heard is basically true. <laughs> um, that's not true. Mm, no. What you think? I mean, I ain't know too many people that was, you know, there like that happily. So. I can't even say happily and unhappily, so I can't really say too much. I know like a few people, maybe like five, but I can't think of anything that's not true. Shit, everybody has problems, it's the up and downs, and you know, so it is what it is. Yeah, I can't really think of nothing that's not true. Everything I heard, I mean, I'm experiencing so <laughs> So I know that you guys say that, that you guys have a child together. In your guys' life, who do you think comes first? You, your, his mom, like in that situation? Bet just between us? Yeah, between you guys and like your mom and like in that situation. He comes first. Yeah, my wife yeah. comes first. Yeah. We, we're not married yet, but I'm planning on getting married. And I feel like when, if I'm in a relationship with you and I see you every day, you got you the mom, mother of my kids, I'm gonna put you first no matter what. Then, my kids, then my parents, and so on. I was just gonna say the same thing, but I was also gonna say five years not married. Oh yeah, we were just all right. I said this before. Oh, okay. I was just dropping hints. <clears throat> I ain't no hints. I mean, I'm very strong on. I love the family I came from, but the family I created is my first priority. So, with her being the head of it, it would be her and my kids. 
Anything my mom need is always gonna be taken care of, but what's in my household is necessary for We done. In certain circumstances, like I guess different situations, like in his case he probably would say that, so I don't know. I guess like you asking, do I feel that way? Yeah, do you agree with his answer? I agree. Uh -huh. Okay. Would you have a problem with your spouse having a male or a female friend? <laughs> <laughs> you want to go ahead and take the lead on that one? <laughs> uh, at first, at first I did. Like, cause she actually has a male, a female, a male and female friend now. And at first I did, and I think that that came from like my insecurities because I know dudes. You know what I mean? I know a guy. I know, you know, being trying to be friends with a female, it's a little bit different than trying to, you know, constantly work on it. But like, she's very open and honest about the relationship, like with her female. He acts more like a, more like a sister than he does like an actual male. Like if he was more like, you know, me talking to you and whatever, but no, nah, he's, he's all right, so. Um, well, he don't got no friends <laughs> Yeah, I have his friend. <laughs> but no, um, no, I don't know how I would feel because I know how I am. So I feel like he's very close minded to just people in general. Like as far as like, he doesn't pick up on stuff. And I feel like I kind of have like a third eye type of thing I can pick up and read on people. So, and I'm usually right. That's why he's left. But so I feel like. He would be like, oh no, that's just my friend, and she's actually like flirting with me. You know what I mean? He wouldn't pick up on that. I don't think. And so I'd yeah. be like, nah, nah. It's like, happened a couple times where like the person is being friendly, and the next thing you know, it's like, all right, I gotta cut you off because you like, like, you know what I mean? So. Yeah. I have had a problem with my spouse. Well, he wasn't my spouse at the time. Yeah. <laughs> he had a, a friend girl that he had been friends with quite some time and she and I for whatever reason we never really had like an issue but we just did not jail first well. moment. and because of that it made things very tense for us throughout our relationship I'd say probably like the first three four years probably longer than that yeah and then you know things kind of just worked itself out I personally think and I've expressed yeah. this to him there were romantic feelings there <laughs> because the way that she was moving, but he um, said it was nothing. I don't know. I don't know. So. It didn't just work itself out. <laughs> <laughs> I had to fix it. Okay. <laughs> but it was through, what were we, 15 years? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've been together 15 years, so we met in college. That was, you know, your party having fun stage, you had two sets of friends. So back then I was trying to mediate it more so. And, you know, you in a tug of war, this is my lady, this is one of my best friends, y'all gotta figure it out some kind of way. But as time went on and you grow older, you, you change, your views your change. So change. yeah, it went from, woman best friend to all right this is my woman respected uh get the hell on right. so that's what it ended up having to be but it was ultimately over my son that's what kind of that was my line in the sand all right you have my life so for me i don't it worked itself out <laughs> no but i had to for you then i just had to go ahead and, and do what i had to do just just so long as it's as is known, you know, we, I, I know it's not like, oh, this is my friend, I'm going, I'll never meet them, they'll come around, that kind of stuff, but no, not really. Mm, I don't have, I don't know, she can't be cute and all that. Big old buttons. Um, Mm. It depends on what the limitations are to these certain things. Mm -mm. She gotta like things. other girls. Mm -mm. She can't like, uh-uh. <laughs> and if she, uh-uh, she gotta be like unattractive. <laughs> but they don't care sometimes, so I don't, mm, I don't know. I mean, like I said, it got to be to a certain extent. Oh, my God. He is lying. No. I just said it got to be you to a certain extent. No, What's that a friend? What's she talking about? Like, don't believe boy, him. 
lying. What kind of friend are you talking about? <laughs> a friend. You what? okay with me having a male friend? Like what? Like what? a friend. Like how I'm friends with Erica. Like a friend. No, yeah, Erica got too much. We having too much going on. So it's a no for you. I guess not. No. Yeah, a big hard no. Okay. Mm -hmm. Say your ex passes away. Do you think it's okay to grieve? I don't give a fuck about this nigga. You grieving? No, you better not grieve. <laughs> No grief. If you grieve, no you got a problem. Grief over no exit. Baby, that ain't all. You got we, a problem. We no grief over here. We don't have no grief over nobody passing. Mm -hmm. See you after life. Why ain't no grief? <laughs> he says he wouldn't. We've had this conversation. He says he wouldn't. He's like, nah. I'll be like, oh, that's messed up or whatever. But. I wouldn't like cry or anything. And me, I think I would. Like I told him, I just feel like, even in, if it was a friendship or or an ex, I just feel like if I'm if I am close with you in that capacity, or if I shared any type of emotional connection with you, I'm just one of those people that's always gonna hold you dear to me. That's just who I am. So it, it could be a friend that died, an ex. It doesn't matter. Like, I'm gonna feel some type of way, I'm gonna be hurt. And that's like, that's her. That's her as a person. Because when she first told me that, I'm like, what you crying for? <laughs> like, he gone, too bad. Like, it's no, there's nothing, like, I, me, I don't want to sound hard, like, don't, I mean. Nah, just, you said it. <laughs> like, if somebody passed, I'd be like, oh man, that's messed up. But there's no, if I'm in Texas, I'm not coming to the funeral. Like, you know what I mean? Like, if it's, if it happened. But we were in Japan, and I was like, yeah, if this person died, would you go? She's like, well, yeah, I would go. For what? Like, that's, that, that was my, that was my, my mentality about it, so. Depends on the connection. For me, depends on the yeah, connection. Yeah, I mean, yeah. that's a part of Somebody you knew, yeah, you got to. Regardless agree. of how it ended or who you have moved on to, you yeah. still had some kind of feeling for them when they died. Of course. <laughs> How often should you and your spouse have sexual intercourse? I don't know. I ain't, I ain't too picky on that. I feel <laughs> like three times a week, maybe. Oh, my gosh. you making me look. <laughs> what? I have to put you on blast. Yeah. Three times a week? Yeah. You saying that's what you would like three times a week. Uh, that's your... What do you think? I just said three times a week. Okay. He a horn dog. So what? That's, that's great. Karen, even if it's like twice in one day, like the next day, so then you want like you know, <laughs> so answer good. the question. I said it don't gotta be. That How many day, times did you like to do it? I week? said three times a week. No, I'm good. He probably like. <laughs> No, I'm saying it is that. I just <laughs> say it three times a week. Now, you would go overboard, nor you capping. I'm not capping. Yeah, I didn't is. say about me. I'm asking you how you feel. I said it three times a week. Okay, he said three times a week. Okay, so <laughs> I'll be tired, kids. <laughs> so I don't know. I agree with the three times a week, but. I don't know. I know he would want way more. I think three times a week is good. That'd be good for me, but I think he way more. Yeah. You do want to way more. Yeah, right. He's lying. No, you lie. <laughs> 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 well, I'm lying. You lying. I feel like you should have sex as often as you can. Me too. I feel like sex is important in a relationship. Sex is what drives the relationship. It keeps the relationship together. It's like the glue of a relationship. It's spicy. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. It has sizzle on it. I wonder if you would call it. <laughs> like. <laughs> All right. So I think this has changed over the years. I think it's gotten a lot better, more frequent. So I would have to say anywhere from three to five, maybe, on the high end. That's being, to me, that's a high end for us. Yeah. But at least three times. A week. Yeah. Okay. Three yes. times a week, yeah, definitely. Um, Go ahead. Uh, I really got nothing to say. How would you feel if your spouse watched sexual acts without you? 
Oh, we, we didn't do it already. Right. <laughs> we did it <laughs> already. I make fun of him because he be trying to be slick with it. Like, I'm be trying to be slick. Yeah, you know? I be like, really? You gonna try to hide it up under the tab? So I, I don't can't hide it. it. I'm doing something. <laughs> that, but no, nah, okay. We don't. <laughs> answer that question. What you mean, answer it? Answer it. Shit, I can't answer. You can do it. What you mean? <laughs> How no, I feel? You don't, I don't know how you feel. Oh, how you feel yeah. about me doing it? Oh, she <laughs> don't like it. Oh my God, oh, I cut tonight. She don't like it. Because like I can wake up. It's, what the fuck you doing? Yeah, right. What the fuck? You gonna be asleep? I ain't gonna bother you. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, oh yeah. my God. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Like if he was doing it, it wasn't like engaging in me. But I guess I just be caught off guard. Like <laughs> I just wake up and like. But I don't feel. I don't really too much do it often. But when I do, I tell him. And he's like, oh. But I don't. She do it more than so I do. So do you mind if she does it? No, I just be like, oh damn, why you did it without me? And that's all. <laughs> that's it. How do you feel about passwords and social media account access? He didn't used to believe in giving me his passwords or social media access. Uh, it wasn't until he got caught cheating multiple times that was it really until I like really was done. We had had our first baby together and he cheated right after I had her and I really felt disrespected. And I can't even remember how I found out, but I remember being like some cliche, like taking this nigga's phone when he was sleeping, going in the bathroom and unlocking it, like some weird shit. And nonetheless, I saw what I saw in his phone uh, and we had a little baby and it was either you get your shit together and you know you man up or you go be with these other bitches because I don't have the time or the mental capacity to play with that kind of shit. I feel like the older you get, and not even necessarily the older you get, playing with people's emotions like that is dangerous. I mean, I could be a fucking lunatic. You know what I'm saying? You could have been sleeping. I could have stabbed the fuck out of you. Like, no, no funny shit. Like, oh, I'm some serious shit. I'm like, I'm just saying. Okay. Like, All right. like, that shit is just real. You know what I'm saying? You never know what you're going to get when you play with people's emotions like that. And I feel like when you make a decision to step out on somebody, it's like... A big thing and so passwords and all of that shit for social media became a necessity and so i mean i have this password so i don't go through this phone but if i wanted to i could it's just like you know wanting to have that access without that access i would constantly think he was cheating and we probably wouldn't even be sitting here on these beautiful chairs right now uh, i don't really care about going through phones she got that what time i did you gonna rationalize it you gonna find something no matter what you go through somebody's phone, you're trying to look for something to get mad at. I feel like that. So you're going to find something, you're going to rationalize something in your head that's not really there. Or sometimes it could be there. And you're going to make yourself mad regardless. So. Are you applying that with something not really there in your phone? No. Oh. Well, it was done. Oh, just making sure. No, I so to get that shit on okay, camera. Right. Oh, make sure you weren't dismissing that shit. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm just saying. Like, no. I own up to me. Oh, I don't. I don't really have mine I wouldn't mind if he, I don't know if I would want his, cause like, I don't know if I want his. Cause he go looking, I mean, I don't mind him, ha I don't do nothing. So I don't mind him having mine. I don't even, I wouldn't even care, so. I don't even really be able to. He lying, y'all. I broke into his Facebook account one time and he got so mad. <laughs> Man, that was how long ago? It don't matter. But it wasn't, uh, it's just a point. Like, I don't, I don't, I mean, I just don't like, People doing shit like that. I mean, oh it's, if you he can got, ask me, okay, get it. But now if you gotta it. hack into some shit. <laughs> nah, come on. How now. did you hack into it? Um, I went. I knew his email. No, she, I switched you know, his. I think shit. I switched it to my email or something. Yeah. It was something oh, with some emails, was, and I got the pass and I reset it. the password. It was how she went. And about I think it. I had to take a picture of his ID or something. Oh, like that type of shit. Yeah. Oh, and I had to wait like 24 hours. After. And that's how I got locked out my Facebook, actually. That's why I got to put my, my real name on there. Everything and was coming out about it. Everything was coming to me. I was like, what the fuck? Oh, hell no. He had to do all that. He made a phone spot me, y'all. He was so mad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He me. Yeah, crazy. I was trying to be quiet. I'm sorry. Hey, that's how I 
how she went about it. So it wasn't nothing like that. She was just ask. She could have got it and look. It ain't nothing was too much in there anyway. Oh, and we would um passwords. Mm, no, he don't want me. He I had into his phone records too, and, and she he changed. He changed you. everything on me. Yeah, she went to the woods. She ain't got to do all that. But ain't nothing in there. I just, you know, shit. Probably now, but. No. Yeah.